Well, hello, God bless you. Bishop Patrick L. Wooden here today, and I pray that you're having a tremendous day. Uh, God is good and worthy to be praised, and I'm, I'm tell you, I'm praying for you, and I know that you are praying for me. One of the ways I know that you are praying for me is that I can feel your prayers. And before I go any further today, I want to, I just want to take the time to thank God for you. Uh, our, our audience is indeed a different kind of audience. You guys are sharp. You're dead on it. You love the truth and you pay attention to it. Now, what I'm referencing uh, are the kind statements that uh, have come from you concerning the the the, the uh, work that uh, my daughter and I put out our latest the bible says this what say you proving that uh, the uh, lgbtq transgender uh, uh, glisten, um, uh, poverty, a Southern Christian poverty law center, and all these people have teamed up to try and to pervert the minds of our children. And we defended the statements by our Lieutenant governor, because you know, they were, they, they were, they are opposing him by saying that the things that he uh, uh, says are being taught in public schools aren't. And we've decided to prove to you that those things uh, indeed are being taught. And it's amazing how uh, the, 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 the wicked, the left, those who are part of the ungodly agenda can and do on a dime. I mean, on a dime, run away from their own uh, 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 agenda, their own strategy. When it no longer, when it's no longer in their best interest to uh, to own it and to uh, put it out there and to argue it, they on a dime turn and say, "Well, it's not being taught." Or like you see with uh, the CRT movement, now they're saying that critical race theory doesn't exist, that it's not being taught, that it's not real. But these were the same, are the same people who two months ago was, was arguing that uh, critical race theory should be preached, should be taught, should be considered, that it is real. I've debated with many of, of my dear friends, and I said, hey, man, uh, you, you're teaching and standing by critical race theory as though it's critical race proof when the whole, the people who are promoting it, they call it a theory themselves. So they don't, they don't present it. They don't call it truth, but they have presented it as truth. And now that uh, uh, standing by it isn't popular for votes, I think uh, Virginia proved that, on a dime with a straight face, these same people will say, it's not real. It doesn't exist. It's made up. Well, this is the same thing that the transgender uh, LGBTQ, sometimes I say LBGTQ, you get it. And uh, uh, any way I want to uh, give the, the letters, uh, I, I do it, the acronym. But anyway, they are now saying that this is not being taught in public schools and we've proven through their own curriculum. I give another great shout out uh, to my daughter, uh, evangelist missionary, Crystal Amanchuku. I tell you that is a, she's a tremendous woman of God. It's her season. The Lord is blessing her. She can preach, pray and sing. She's a tremendous wife and a fantastic mom. And I tell you, she gave her heart to Jesus Christ and she's been serving the Lord every sense. And God has highly anointed her. And uh, I, I, as her father and pastor and bishop, uh, uh, was just honored to, to be able to sit there and to, to sit with her. And you parents out there, you know what I'm talking about, to have a child that, you, that you've raised and to see them develop where they can articulate the things of God uh, in a manner, whereas to communicate God's truth, where people are blessed, all parents are proud of that, and I am certainly uh, proud of her and was indeed honored to, to sit and to work with her. And you will see more of her as we uh, tackle these issues. And I want to thank God for Brother Gary. You know, I, I don't give his whole name out on, on the on the uh, on the uh, when we do these things, but he's in here right now. 
This guy's the best. And, uh, and he makes sure that things are right and that things are polished. And, and it, you, you, listen, if you can make Patrick Wooden look and sound good, you're doing a great job. And, and he does a tremendous job. He loves Jesus Christ. By the way, Brother Gary, who comes and do our tapings here, this is not some guy who's just doing this for a living, although it is his personal business and he's very good at it. But this man loves Jesus Christ and he's born again and uh, it's an honor to work with him. He's a godly young man, a, a strong, saved African-American brother who is walking according to the scriptures. And I, I find it to be an utter delight to work with him. So, Brother Garrett, thank you. Thank you so much for your work. Now, listen. We are standing on God's truth. The Bible says, and they shall know the truth. John chapter 8 and verse 32. And the truth shall not just set you free, but the truth shall make you free. I'm free in Jesus and I'm excited about the word of God. And I want again to thank you for your prayers. Thank you for those comments. Thank you for, uh, for just uh, being interested and, and, uh, and we gave you uh, the information where you can look it up yourself and see for yourself what these wicked, filthy, diabolical, ungodly, ain't right, wrong people are trying to do to our children. Yes, to our children, K through the third grade, K, K through the fifth grade, K through eight. Catch them while their minds are young. Catch them while they are, they are maturing and sow a seed of evil in them, making a boy think that, that he can turn himself into a girl or a girl think that she can turn herself into a boy, making children think that same-sex attractions are normal and, and things of that nature. I tell you, Parents ought to be involved. Parents ought to be up in arms. Mom and dad, grandma and grandpa ought to be on the front line saying, not under my watch, not with my child, no way. And uh, even if the president does try to, to take the FBI and turn them on parents who are peacefully protesting at school boards. Parents, don't be afraid. Don't back down. The hearts and the minds of your, our children are at stake. And our children, today's children, are tomorrow's leaders. And you know who knows it? Our enemies. The people who are promoting this garbage, they know that if they can plant this in the children, whether they live to see it or not, that those children will grow and those wicked seeds will, will surface uh, when the time is right. But guess what? We know the power of planting seeds also. Because the word of God is like seed that's planted. The sower went forth to plant. And the word of God is planted into the hearts of people and we're believing God to let the seed bring forth some 30, some 60 and some 100 fold. So I want to invite you to join me tonight as we plant more seed by studying the word of God tonight. Join me for a Bible study. Yes, Bible study. We are going to study the word of the Lord together right here at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ. I thank God for every one of you. And again, I want to reiterate, reiterate that I want you to meet me right here for, you forgot, you thought I forgot my drum roll, didn't you? Bible study. <laughs> That's right. Bible study. Oh, by the way, do you see this over my shoulder? This wasn't planned. Do you see this? This, this, this. Oh, my Lord. This sign right here. Right here. This beautiful piece of artwork was presented to me this past Sunday. Now, the young lady who did this work, and you will see a picture there on the screen. She's 12 years old. 12 year old uh, Azaria, she waited patiently in line after service Sunday, and she had to wait much longer than normal. Uh, we were greeting people and speaking with people, and you know, it's, it's always an honor. And, and I saw the young lady just standing there, and she waited so patiently. You know, a patient 12 year old. 
and she presented this to me. And I think that it is absolutely beautiful. And you know, it said what it says to me, it says they get it. They get what we're saying. Here is a 12 year old. She did this piece of her artwork and she's got the seven colors of the uh, rainbow in it and written here of uh, Jesus pride. And if you can see it, you see how she added uh, the personal touches. I used to, I used to draw, uh, and uh, and I, ha I have an understanding of these things and how she smudged and and just made it look. She wanted it to have a a certain look, and she presented this to me, gave this to me Sunday after service. I want you to know, Azaria. I want to thank you so much. I am so so encouraged. 12 years old. She took the time to do this and a big shout out to our dear sister, Christian Ingram, who came down from uh, Connecticut this past weekend. She was uh, at the uh, abortion clinic and she helped save a little baby's life. She changed a mother's mind and that child is developing in the womb of its mother right now as a result of the work of this fine young lady, along with the happy warriors and love life and all of those uh, pro-life warriors who gather every week and many now gather every day to save the lives of unborn babies. She flew in for her birthday. She said for her birthday, she wanted to spend it with the upper room. And as you can see, the, the little selfie that we took there, her with uh, my lovely wife, Pamela, after service. I mean, this young lady, she loves Jesus Christ, uh, um, loved the Lord, and came down and spent the entire weekend with us. And we just, we were so honored to, to, to have her, uh, one of our wonderful uh, members here, evangelist, uh, missionary uh, Vicky uh, uh, Adams just uh, took her under her wings and and they had a ball and she had a ball and uh, and we're moved that people will come from near and far just to be a part of the service of the Lord and to worship with us. God bless you, Sister Ingram. Continue to, to fight the good fight of faith, young lady. Continue to serve the God of the Bible. And, uh, and to Azaria, listen, I'm closing out. I want people to see this beautiful, this work. I'm at, I am moved. It says she gets it with, with, with Sister Ingram uh, in her 30s, African American a pediatric uh, dentist by trade. Notice the demographics, all the boxes that are being checked. Young, educated, successful, love Jesus Christ, African-American, female, all right? All those boxes are being checked where he loves the word of the Lord to the point that you will come from as far away as Connecticut to be in the service and to save the life of an unborn. The word of God is reaching people for a 12 year old to do this. Look at that demographic. She gets it. And I pray that God continue to bless her and, uh, and her wonderful mom and family. I tell you, God's doing great things. Now I've run long, I've run long, but I had to talk about this today and pray for me. I've been running long of late, you know, I'm running long. You know why? Satan is running long and we're determined to, to stand our ground and fight the good fight of faith. So join me tonight right here at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ. You get two drum rolls today for Bible study. Nah, make it a great day.